What is it you want to tell me that cannot wait till tomorrow morning? And why is your face like that? Mama, what I want to tell you is very important. Talk. But first, you you will have to promise me you won't tell Papa about it. What is it? Mama, tell just me. Promise me first. Okay. Please. Tell me. I promise you. Cross your heart. Oh? Mm -hmm. Across my heart. You won't tell Papa about it. I promise. Mama. It's <clears throat> it's actually about Odile. What about Odile? Odile asked me <clears throat> to marry him. Omiyechi, I don't understand you. You mean Odile asked you to marry him? Yes. And what did you Tell him. I... I haven't told him anything yet. I thought I should tell you first. Before... Knowing what to do. <sighs> now you have told me... What is in your mind? I actually don't have anything in mind right now. I'm still I'm still thinking about it, Mama. I don't know. It is okay. Eh? You have to go and sleep. Pray over it first. And make sure whatever is your decision, let me know first. Before telling him anything. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. My son, I've seen the drink. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Una. Uh, you said your name is Fred. Yes, Una. And uh, from this community. Yes, Una. And uh, you came to ask for my daughter to the marriage. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you, Una. Uh, if I may ask, what of your father? Because uh, he's supposed to be here with you. That is true, Una. My father is supposed to be here with me, but. Unfortunately, he went to the city for his medical checkups. 
I decided to come see you alone so that you will give me a date. Thereafter, I will come together with my father to see you. Okay, that's no problem. But uh, which of my daughters are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, in that case, I will call on you to come out here for you to be sure that you know the person you are talking about. No problem. Eh? Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Nebia, oh, come, now you're a warrior. You're a warrior. You're a visitor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, is she the one you're talking about? Yes, and I, she's the one. I see. I see. Um, you can go. I will talk to her later. Ah, Papa Umbao, there's no need now. I'm already here. There will not be any need for me to go inside. Don't I mean, worry. I said go inside. I will talk to you. Later. Papa Umba. Uh -uh. There is nothing for us to talk about later. We can as well do it now. Let's just summarize it. After all, I'm present here. He's here. You are also here. So, what better time than now? I, of course, I know the reason he's here. Is it not to marry me? Yes. Oh. Ah. So it's it's an open secret, okay? Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a marriage proposal, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And in proposals like this, it's either you accept or you reject. That's true. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. And I'm not under any form of durex. It's not by force. That's what I mean. Yes. Uh -huh. I am not interested. In your marriage proposal, sir. Mm. So there's really nothing for us to think about later. There's nothing I'll be discussing with Papa after now. I refuse. In this case. So, my advice to you is. There is no point coming back here. Because of this subject matter. We have summarized it. To call the long story short, I am not interested. Okay. Uh -huh. Well done, Sao. Well done. Eh? Papa, we have summarized it. We have cut the long story short. Have a nice day. Uh -huh. Sir, remember, you don't have any reason eh, to come back here to discuss this. Except you are here to see my father. You understand? Uh huh. Oh. Bye. Don't worry. You know, my daughter, she likes jokes. No, she's not joking. Nine. Are you really sure she was joking? Uh -uh. My daughter. Yes. Ah. She's joking. Can't you see her? She was uh, uh, smiling, dangling when she was saying that to show that she was joking. Uh -huh. ah, my, she likes jokes. Uh, she she was joking. Uh, is it not my daughter? I know her too well. Yes, don't worry, she's your wife. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, okay, okay. Uh, don't worry. Uh, my regards to your father. Thank you. Uh, so okay. let me be on my way now. Okay now. Okay. Bye bye. Right. Hey, okay, okay. 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 Don't worry, don't worry. She's your wife. <laughs> Don't worry. We shall see. We shall see. Olinye Chuku. Olinye Chuku. Olinye Chuku. What is your problem? Johnson. Why are you choosing to reject all the men that came to seeking for her the marriage? Eh? Papa, please. Papa, Biko. Papa, Abmakao. Please, oh. I beg of you, I am not ready for this. I have a lot on my mind. There's so much bothering me, Papa. Besides, I am not ready for marriage. When I am ready, I will announce it. You are not ready for marriage now. Mm -hmm. When you are ready, you will announce it. Mm -hmm. And when will that be? Papa, like I said, when I am ready, I will announce it. I will make it public. I will say it. 
I will make it known. People will hear about it. You are going to know. I will tell you. Hey, when you are ready, you will go to the television houses, mm. radio houses, even CNN, and announce it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. But then you must have chased all of them away and marry yourself. Huh? You must have chased all of them away and marry yourself. Woman, did you hear your daughter? You heard your daughter? Talk to her. Talk to your daughter. Talk to me. Talk to her. Hey. Hey. Talk to her. Nay. I've heard her. She said that she is not ready. Mm. That when she is ready, mm. she will let you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to public knowledge. Hey. She said she's not ready. When she's ready, she will let me know. Hey. Okay. That means both of you plan this. Both of you plan this. It's okay. No problem. I will be waiting. But Mama, why are you supporting Sister Mimi? Uh -uh. Why are you supporting her? This thing you, you both are doing is not good though. It's not good though. She's not getting any younger now. Hey! Mepo Wanza! If I slap you, eh? Yeah! No, no, let her run her mouth now. Mama, let her run her mouth. Why blame her? Stupid girl. If you open this gutter, you come out again. I will shut it up for you. Mechedia! Wanza! Mama, I'll shut up my mouth. But nobody should block my way where my own husband will come. Uh -huh. They can't do that too. Nobody can do that. I'm here. Can you imagine? Where your own husband? <laughs> I've suffered. Chai. Abo. Um, what is that her name again? Judith. Uh -huh. Judith. Oh yeah. Get inside. Hey, the meeting is huh? over. One! Get where? Inside the She's office. not going anywhere. Stay here. Let me see who will touch you. You are not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Who did him? You are not going anywhere. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, come on. No, come on. What is it now? What is it now? Stay here. Stay here. Don't worry. Touch her. Because she's telling you the truth. Mama, just calm down. Relax. Relax. Mama, stop, stop, stop supporting her. Oh. Nah. Mama. Ah, easy. going on here? Amara, what is the meaning of this rubbish? I don't understand. What are you calling rubbish? Hey you, get up. Leave this place at once. What is your problem? What is wrong with them filing my nails and giving me ice cream? Now you listen to me. I don't want this rubbish to repeat itself. Do you hear me? <laughs> mm. What is your problem? What exactly is your problem? Hmm? All these things I'm doing is not to look good for your brother, my husband to be. Thank God you said husband to be. My princess, don't tell her. She's just jealous of you. I know. You know you're more beautiful than she is. <laughs> of course I am. Mm -hmm. Feed me. This is beautiful kingdom. Oh, oh, this is this is beautiful kingdom. Which good reputation. Are you mad? <laughs> I love this. And this? Yes. 
Darling, who got you angry? Talk to me. Mom, I don't understand what is happening in this palace anymore. Can you imagine? I walked out there and I saw Amara dressed like a princess. What sort of nonsense is that? Eh? And some maidens were painting her nose. The other one was feeding her ice cream. Eh? I don't understand. As a queen or what? Um, darling, you know what? Allow her to be until your brother comes back. He's already away that she is here. He will be the one to decide, okay? But no! It's okay. Well, she can go ahead and try that nonsense with the ones she brought. After all, that best of the same feather. But for the ones you employ, let her not try that nonsense again with them. I'll talk to her. Okay? So come on, come, come soon. Nice dress. Mom, I'm not in the mood for this. I have something to do upstairs. Onini, why are you doing this to me? Why haven't I heard anything from you? Why haven't you said anything about my proposal? Why are you keeping quiet? Does it matter where I go? What do you mean? Do you care me? where I go to? Of course I care. It does matter where you're going. Onye, stop pretending. Stop pretending you care about me because you don't. You hate me so much because I am poor. How but let me tell you something. You don't know tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. How can you even say that? How can I possibly hate you? I don't hate you. If you don't hate me, why have you been quiet? Why haven't you answered my question? So, 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 is, is, that, is that enough reason for you to leave? Onye, I've been in that house depressed. It's better for me to live here than stay in that house and die in silence. Goodbye. Hey, Odili, please, come. Wait. Please. Um. Yes. I'll marry you. You marry me? Yes. So what stopped you from saying it? So why are you keeping it to yourself? You're not leaving. Are you still leaving? Yeah, so you don't you don't have to go. Yes. I mean yes. Say something. Come on. So, Onyechi, what you are telling me now is that you have accepted Odile to marry you and you've told him. Yes, Mama. Huh? Why didn't you tell me before telling him as we discussed? 
Mama, I, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. It was unintended. The whole situation brought about it. I just couldn't bear but to tell him my mind. But I'm, I'm really very sorry, Mama. I'm sorry for not letting you know first. It is okay. Well, since you have accepted to marry him, eh? no problem. Oddly is a nice man. But the issue there is that he is very poor. How is he going to take care of you? How? Mama, I, I know that he's poor. But we'll manage. Eh? God will take care of us. <sighs> Mama, see, something else bothers me more than the poverty part you're talking about. And what is that? <laughs> it's Papa who yeah. I'm just wondering how Papa would react to all of this. <sighs> I know how Papa can be. <sighs> hey, don't worry yourself about your father. Hmm? He's my husband. I know how to handle him. Hmm? Don't worry. <laughs> Mamazi, you have to just try because... I'm more scared of Papa than Odili being poor and cannot take care of me. Because I know that as for that, ha, huh, nobody knows tomorrow. Anybody can become anything. We'll be fine. <laughs> but Papa, oh, ah. That is why I'm supporting you. Nobody knows tomorrow, as you said, my daughter. <laughs> Kelebo boy, the city boy. <laughs> this is your bears. Let it not mother that he came back with no you. I'm taking care of him, daddy. <laughs> Papa. Uh -huh. About that girl you told me last time you want to marry. Yes. What is her name? From which family is she? <laughs> For her name is Onyinye. Mazi Bekwe's daughter. Give me. Onyinye. Uh -huh. <laughs> that marriage will not work. Uh -uh. Papa, why? Do you know how many suitors that girl has rejected? Both rich and poor. Look, if you love that family and you want to marry from that family, it's better we go for the younger daughter, Judith. She's very beautiful and nice. Judith? Yes. But Papa, I don't know her too well. Just as you don't know her too well. If you had known her yet, you would know that she would not even look at your face, talk about uh, uh, marrying you. Let's go for Judith. She's very beautiful and nice. Judith. Yes. <sighs> okay, Papa. If you say so, no problem. Yeah, that's my son. That's my son. I'm sure you should make a good wife. I eh? agree. Papa. Papa, Papa. Okay, you don't do this one, man. Mm -hmm. You have to do a city only. <laughs> Your Majesty. Sure. I'm beginning to suspect you. Ah! Each time I come to the palace, I always see this drink. Why? <laughs> or how? <laughs> Why? Each year. Your Majesty. I am one of the distributors of this drink. Ah. Yes. Hmm. Now I understand. Yes. It's a nice drink, though. It is. Yeah. Mm, anyway, Ichie, Your Majesty, I called you because of the girl Amara. The one you brought to this palace for my son to marry. Amara. I want you to warn her because of her useless behaviors. If not, she will not like what will happen to her if my son returns. Your Majesty, now I'm totally confused. Please, talk to me. What has she done? A lot. There is nothing this lady has not done in this palace. Useless behavior. 
I want you to warn her before had I known becomes her friend. Your Majesty, to tell you the truth, I, I am totally perplexed. Oh. I mean, am I supposed to consider her background? I mean, the circumstances that led to her coming to the palace. Let me know. And now she's bringing this repute to her family and even myself who recommended her and brought her here. Um, Your Majesty, please, I, I must apologize on her behalf. Um, I will talk sense into her. I'm very sure she will change. Hmm? You better do. You better do before it's too late for her. I will. I can assure you I will, I will talk to her. It's okay. Choko, why are you talking to me in that manner? Man! Amara, you are screaming at me. I, Ichi Ofoma. Ofoma Ichi. Simply because I'm advising you for your own good. What kind of advice is that? What kind of advice is that? To the best of my knowledge, I have not done anything wrong. Huh? Oh. I see. Ichi. So you're not jealous of me? I see. Jealous. You are now jealous because I am part of the royal family as the princess and queen of this land to be. Get out! Amara! Are you out of your senses? I am not, obviously. You are asking me out of this palace? I've already asked you. No, in short, you are walking me out? I just did it. Just be going, be going first. It's alright. We shall see. We are already seeing. Since I'm going to give you just less advice. Nietzsche, you mean I'm going to talk to you in that manner? Just because you advised her? Agnes, there is no abusive word in the dictionary that that girl didn't use on me. Yes. Can you imagine the most painful thing is that she said that you're jealous of her simply because she's not reality and that she's the, the, the future queen. Can you imagine that? How? I'm a little rat of yesterday. It's all right. I'm going to say that for you. <laughs> hey. Wait. Has she forgotten how this whole thing started? Oh. Amara has forgotten that you are the one that took her to the palace in the first place. I can see that that girl wants to kill me. Oh yes, she wants to kill you. She wants to kill you. Look, you better call her to order. You better warn her to desist from this nonsense. If not, she will not like the consequences of this her action. Uh, Ichie, I will do that. Please, I'm sorry. You better do. Uh, you better do. Uh, <laughs> it's my, right. my dear, please. It's not time for that. It's not time for that. It's alright. We shall see. Itchy! 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 